Hey, YouTube. Thanks for tuning in to part two on this stamp concrete pool deck. Now, this was a really, really hot day. We started pouring at 7.30 in the morning. We got this poured. We had to jump right back on it because we got to stamp the whole thing. So, the, you know, the question was, is this concrete going to secure up and dry up too fast before we can get it stamped? And that's what you're going to be able to see us do here, just us hustling just as fast as we possibly can to try to beat the heat from getting this too hard on us. Yeah, thank you, Eric. Yep. Um, Are we going to want to start? Sprayer? Go, right? Yeah, that's still, I got a couple minutes. Just when we spray, don't get too much out on that second truck. Right. Yeah, as soon as I get another square done, we can get going, I think. If we if there's time to roll it, we will. If there's not, we'll just stamp it. You probably the heavier one in the bag will work better. Now knowing how hot it's going to be out today, we decided to cut grooves in by hand because we didn't want this pool deck to crack before we got back to saw cut joints in later on, either tonight or tomorrow morning. So we cut them all in by hand. And that was one of the keys, trying to get all the joints cut in before the concrete got too hard because then we got to get back and mag the surface out so we can spray the release agent on it and start putting some texture to the surface like what Darren's doing right now. So we got... I did, on the first truck, I got all the joints cut in, and I jumped right back on it to start magging it out so these guys, Darren and Luke, could get going, pot, starting to put the texture in, and that's the process where we're at right now. Yeah, I need to get down to there, then I can jump on them grooves for the second truck. Second truck okay, Eric? Okay. Eric, Eric can mag. Just reach out where you can, it'll make me go a lot faster. Okay. I can do the inside. You can see in here as I mag that surface out, it even sounds like it's pretty firm. But, you know, it was working up some cream okay, so we're still, at this point, we're still okay in the process. It's not curing up on us too fast. But, it's 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 hustle time it's go time and right now what i'm doing with that hand joiner is just touching up the joints as i mag the surface out just to make sure they look clean and neat so when the guys stamp over them we don't have to touch them up after now one thing that's going to help speed up the process the stamping process today is we're just using texture mats and you can see in the background there as luke and darren just pick up those mats you know, they're just basically using their body weight and their feet now to get texture in the surface. That's all they need right now. They don't need to tamp it with a tamper. But the nice thing about those texture mats is you can just pick them up and lay them down pretty much any old way at any angle. And you're going to get texture in the surface. We have two different uh, styles here. They're basically the same texture, just from two different companies. Um, and they, but they both really work good and they're they're good sized mats I mean, they're like at least four feet by four feet So you're covering Just about 16 square feet every time you lay one down now What I'm doing right here in the front is you know, I'm, I'm just hustling I'm trying to get to the end of the first truck So I got a, a couple more squares to go and then if if I need to I can jump back with and help the guy stamp for a minute or even better is I would get the joints in the second truck as I don't have any joints cut in that second truck yet. And I want to make sure I get them cut in to match the first truck before that second truck starts getting too firm. So I'm kind of hustling the best I can to stay ahead of Darren and Luke stamping, plus clean up the joints. And I'm trying to get back to that, that second truck. So that's, you know, I don't know if I'm going to be able to make that happen yet or not. And right now, to the left, you can see Luke is, we got a roller stamp too. So we got a guy with a roller stamp that's got texture on it, kind of rolling in texture ahead of Darren and Luke with the stamping mats. And that just helps them a little bit. It helps them go a little bit faster since there's already some texture in the surface. They don't have to, they don't have to quite stamp down on the mats too hard. They're just, they're just putting in the, the texture. Hey Luke. 
You can spray up to this joint. Just try not to go over it. Okay? Spray up to it. Just try not to get any over it. I gotta cut that in by hand, it's too hard for this, but I just had to mark it. Can you mag that for me, Eric? What's that? Can you mag that for me? This? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I gotta, I gotta get those two grooves cut in. I'm gonna go get another set. You want that groove one? Yeah. Do you need another mag? No, I'm good. Okay. Nope. Yeah, it's hustle already. Yeah. All right, so it's really hot. And as you see me pressing my fingers in the concrete, what I'm really thinking is, oh man, this stuff's a heck of a lot harder than I thought it would be. I don't know if I'm gonna get these grooves cut in the way I did on the first truck. I may have to cut them all in by hand with a hand groove. As you can see me way in the background there on the right, I got, a, I got a straight edge and I'm tapping with a hand groover down in the concrete because that stuff is pretty firm right now. I can't get them in by just the weight of the torpedo groover anymore over there. So that makes my job even a little bit harder, but I'm, I'm going to do it. I'm going to get them in. I'm just, I'm just hustling like crazy right now. And we're fighting the heat. Once I get this one in though, once I get that, that joint in right there, then maybe I can I, I can try the torpedo groover again. Um, again, it's, I'm, I'm, it's a race against time right now. It's a race against heat. There, now you can see me using the torpedo groover and then the uh, cleaning it up with the other groover. We got the other walk behind groover. So I got those two joints back in with the, with the handles in the groover without having to get on it, which is a big bonus. And Darren, Darren's the one laying the mats on the creek. Now Darren and, and now I came back. Now I'm helping Darren. Uh, Luke is just using the texture roller and just kind of touching up the edges, touching up spots here and there. He think needs a little bit more texture. And then Luke is in the background. You can see him in the background. He's starting on the second truck. Me and Darren are still on the first truck right now, but Luke is starting on the second truck, working his ba way back around to meet us. This is one thing we really like about using texture mats on stamp concrete pool decks because, you know, there's so many curves and angles and stuff like that. Uh, the texture mats, you can, you can literally just put down anywhere and go one, one way around the pool or the other. It doesn't matter where you meet up if you have to start in two different places. With, with mats that have, you know, like, like rock, joints or cobblestone joints or let's say ashlar slate joints where they have a, a fixed pattern you're going around boy if you have to go two different directions and then when you meet up then you got to figure out how you're going to cut in the joints by hand where the two meet up because they never meet up perfectly and the mats never lay out perfectly when you're going in two different directions with those types of stamps so we definitely you know favor these texture mats like this going around pools it just makes stamping concrete a lot easier Mike, can I go over this now? The spot that I got sprayed? Yeah, you can go over that joint. Right. Go, go over to about those red things. All right. It does get a little softer in there, though. Just be careful.
couple of big keys right now to making sure we're going to get this done and get it done and looking really nice is having Luke be able to use that roller ahead of Darren. Darren's what the guy's stamping right in front of you. And, you know, being able to spray liquid release on the concrete and then rolling it like Luke was doing right there. Not only with the little roller, but the big one. Getting some texture on the concrete before Darren puts the stamps on. Just helps Darren you know, stay ahead of the game as far as stamping that section by himself. And then the other Luke is out back, you know, stamping. He's the guy on the stamping mats out back. He's also got a roller, so he can roll some texture into the concrete in advance of him putting the stamping mats down. And that just ensures that when you're, you know, tamping down the mats, that everything has good texture on it when you pull the mats up you can you can move forward a little bit quicker especially in this heat and then you got me and eric you know they're kind of mag floating the concrete out making sure the joints look nice so when the boys get to them with the stamping that everything's ready to go and you can see luke getting kind of like pre-texture on the concrete i mean technically that that roller has enough texture on it just to leave the concrete the way it is with just using the roller if you want to. That's a really cool roller system to use. Um, we just like with the with the stamping mats in the stone texture, like the stamping mats have the have a little bit more of a vein uh, look to them, not just the texture, but they got these veins kind of cut in the rocks. So that's kind of the bonus of using the mats along with the roller is you get a little bit uh, different look to the concrete. And I'll show you I'll show you how this came out at the end after the owner had all the landscaping done, had his pool house built and everything like that. It, it came out looking really cool. He took some aerial photos of it with his drone. So I'll be able to I'll be able to add those on to the end for you here to take a look at real quick. And now that, you know, we've got everything magged out, now me and Eric can jump back and help Darren and Luke do the, the actual stamping. So that's that's how it kind of works around a pool. I mean, it, especially one like this with two loads, you got one load, the first load kind of cures up pretty good and fast. And then the second load, and hopefully you have a little bit more time on the second load to get caught up after the first load. And then when it, with everybody working together, going two different directions, we all meet up in this one section right here. So this worked out really good. All right, so that's going to do it. See what time it is. I don't think we started till about 7.30. 9.18 right now. So poured, stamped in less than two hours. That's crazy. It's stuff setting up like mad. But we got the joints in it, so at least it just feels like it's 100 degrees right now. Kind of dizzy, actually. But we're going to get everything washed up. Get out of here and call it a day. Well, I think it came out really, really good. So tomorrow the plan will be to come up, strip all the forms, wash and clean it, and then give it some time to dry out, a couple days, and we'll come back and seal it. So we'll see you when we come back. Here's the finished look. The homeowner took his drone out, took some aerial photos of it for us. So these came out really cool. We don't usually get pictures like this. But this really shows you the design of the pool, kind of the color of the concrete, all the car, all the curves played into it, and everything came out really great. So thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.